Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, our goal is just to create some window, something that we can use to display graphics to, eventually. So with all that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project for this. I'm going to call it 3D Game Engine, because hey, that's what we're creating. You can call it whatever you want. And here, I will need to add the external libraries I'm going to be using. So under Libraries, I'm going to add External Jars, and I'm going to be using Lightweight Java Game Library and Slick U2. So I'm going to add those. If you don't already have those downloaded, then I'll leave a link to a video which shows you how to get that set up. And yeah, the only other thing is under Lightweight Java Game Library, I need to edit the native library's location because it depends on that. So mine is located under programs to Java, wherever you are. Java, there you are. Under Lightweight Java Game Library to Natives. And then just select whatever folder is your operating system. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to select the Windows folder. And there you go. That completes the setup of the project. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a package for our game engine. I'm going to call this package com.base.engine. And I'm doing this right off the bat because I'm going to end up having several packages by the time this is over, so it's better to just go ahead and start that right now. So, now that I've got that, I'm going to create a new class in this package. I'm going to call it main component. And this is going to be pretty much the main component. This is where all the code is going to start. And as such, it only makes sense that this is where our main method is. So, if I can spell the string correctly, there we go. And just to make sure that our setup is working correctly, I'm going to create a simple hello world thing. Just to make sure that, okay, so it's not rejecting our natives or anything. Everything's working fine. So let's go ahead and create our first class, the window class. The goal of this class is going to be completely static class, because I'm only going to have one window. And the goal here is just to manage that one window, so first thing I'm going to do, public static void create window. Predictably enough, this method's going to create a window. It's going to take in a width, a height, and a string for the title. That's all I want to do. So the way I'm going to implement this method is using Lightweight Java Game Library's display class. So first thing, I'm going to set the title to our title. So there you go. Nothing fancy there. Then I'm going to set the display mode. And that's the Lightweight Java Game Library way of setting the width and height. So I'm going to create a new display mode of width and height. And if, if I see what the error is, come on. Come on, Java. <laughs> it's, oh, and, oh, new display mode. Excuse me. Now will you tell me what the error is? Thank you. I'm gonna import that, and it, it wants it in a try catch statement, so I'm gonna go ahead and surround that with try catch. Not that it really particularly matters, I've never had that fail for me, but hey, you never know, maybe it will one day. And once I have those two things set, I'll just go ahead and create the display. And now, if I do window.createWindow, and actually, before I do that, I should create some constants for this, because I'm not going to be changing my width and height or title as my thing goes along, so I'm going to create public static final int width 800, if I can type it, there you go, height and a string title. I want my default resolution to be 800 by 600. I can change that here if I want. And my title, I'm just going to have that be 3D Engine. And when I call this method, I'm just going to pass in those constants. And I can change this from constants later if I want, but yeah. So now, if I run this, this should either A, bring up a window and crash, or B, just simply crash. So let's see what happens. Okay, it just simply crashes. Good. 
That's exactly what I expected, except... Actually, I don't know if this is the error that I should be getting. One moment. And the issue was I selected the wrong version of the jar when I set my project up. That's nothing to do with you. You shouldn't have that issue. I just keep way too many copies of that jar file for some reason. So anyways, now that I selected the correct version, you'll notice it works. It brings up the window and crashes, which is exactly what should happen. So, with all that done, let's add a few more methods to complete our window class. First off, I'm going to create public static void render, and all this method's going to do is it's going to take everything we've drawn and display it in the window. Fortunately, this is incredibly easy with um, like with Java Game Library. Just do display.update. That will display everything that we've drawn with OpenGL into the window. So, now that that's done, I'm going to create a few getters. Well, to an extent, yeah. So public boolean, public static boolean, excuse me, is close requested. That's going to be true if we click the X button, so that's important for obvious reasons. Fortunately, Lightweight Java Game Library also provides a method for that. And other than that, I'm just going to create getters and setters for our width, height, and title. So, int get width, return display dot get display mode, and then dot get width. Dot get, there you go. So, there you go. Gonna do the same thing for get height. Gonna change that to get height rather than get width. And finally, public static string get title. Return display dot get title. And there you go, that completes our window class. Now we can do all the windowing operations that I care for. Now, just so I don't leave you with the insta-close window, I'm going to go ahead and start creating the skeleton for our main component class. So, first off, I'm going to create public main component constructor. I'm not going to do anything now, just creating the skeleton. Now we're going to have a few methods. Public void start. It's going to start the game. Public void stop going to stop running the game, public void run, which is everything we do while the game's running, public void render, which is everything we do when we render, and finally, public void cleanup, which is everything we do when the game is finished running and we want to delete everything. So there. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a main component, I'm going to call it game, going to be a new main component, and I'm going to do game.start. That's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to have more in the start method later, but right now I'm just instantly going to call the run method. And what I'm going to do in the run method, just for now, just so I don't leave you with insta close window, while not window dot is closed requested, so while we haven't hit the X button, it's just going to do display, wait, no, window. Actually, I'll just go ahead and call the render method. Why not? I have the skeleton. Might as well use it. And in our render method, we're just going to use window.render. And since we don't do anything, it just, just add a bunch of blackness to it because we're not doing anything. So if I run, this should create a blank window. And it stays open. So, there you go. Just so I don't leave you with complete insta-close window, there you go. Now we have a window that opens and stays open. So, and just to be extra fancy, when we hit the close button, it exits out of the program. So, yeah. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed, and in the next video, we're going to start filling in our main component skeleton and get a little bit more of a game engine going than just the window. So, thank you, and see you next time.